Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this React Material UI video tutorial, we will learn about the tabs. So tabs are actually very important. When we just want to show some uh, short detail of any product or uh, any item, then we can use the tabs, right? So this is the example of the tabs. So let's say we have three items or three products and we just want to show the information of them. So whenever user click on a first item, then he can get the first item detail on the second item and three item and he can just frequently click on these items and there is a no page reload and no too much data to load so there is a just three uh, you can say that the three item details and they are just open on a click right so this is a very reliable way to show the details or you can say that short details when we have the large detail then we can use obviously the dynamic paging and the routing and all right so now uh, check out the points of this video so first of all we have to import the tabs and tab and app bar and then uh, we will uh, just get these things value inside the state and then we will make a tab panel manually and then we will show and hide the tabs uh, with the tab panel right so when just open this uh, official website and want to check this code so they actually do a very long and complex code even we don't need some components which are they just imported like box and typographic and these kind of things like right? style and props so we just want to go for a very simple tab and easy way to how we can just make the tabs even uh, these uh, official websites also just make a tab panel the manual component and we will also do the same thing but still uh, we will use a very uh, simple logic for to do it right so now let's uh, come to the app.js and import the uh, things that we need so just write an import something from and just use your material UI and let's import the tabs uh, and they should be inside the curly braces then tab and after that app bar actually app bar is optional it's totally up to you you just want to import it or not right so we will i will show you the tab bar without app bar or uh, with the app bar also right so first of all let's just simply use the app bar and just put here tabs like this right and now let's place the tabs here tab one we can even use the tabs like this we don't need to use the open and close the two different tags right and we can just put here label and label is basically the text that you just want to see on the tab right so just write here item one and here you can put the capital i right and let's open the second one and just write the third one now whenever you just do this code it will have a little bit it's actually have a small problem here you can see that the text of uh, uh, like uh, which is uh, react material ui is hidden beside it right so that's why we can just put a position here so just use here position is static right and now this problem we're gonna fix right so that's okay but there is lots of error we have to just fix them and we have to change the text and we have to activate the when we are just clicking on these things right so let's make it second one and let's make it third one right yep and let's say i just provide a by default value is uh, let's say zero that means the first one tab will by default open right you can see that and this is activated also so i just want to open the second then i can just put it on a one because this is just starting from the zero that's why it will just one step behind to the tab number right and otherwise when we just activate one we cannot tap the another one so what actually we will do we will just get the current tab value and 
put it in a state and state will just uh, inject it with this value right so let's make a function uh, like const uh, handle tabs and it have an arrow function and just make it console dot warm for a moment and uh, just it have actually two events one is uh, two parameters one is basically uh, event and second one is value so let's check out the value what is the current value of it and now you will get the index whenever you will click on any one right okay so we have to just call this function also so just write here on change and let's call this function handle tabs great and now whenever you just mm -mm, is it not working just give me a moment Mm. oh yes my bad actually i just use the on change event on the app part it should be on the tabs right now let's see here now you can see that we are getting the value here right so if we just get on click on a first item it will give the 0 1 and 2 respectively so we can do one thing now let's get this value in the state and pass to this value right so that we can activate the tab on whatever we whenever we are click on clicking on someone right so just use here const um let's say it have a value and then have the set value or something and just use here react dot uh, use state and by default its value is zero and if I just put here value Directly here, then you will see that the first one is activated directly because the by default value is zero now just simply put here value set value with This right and now you can see that all Items are working perfectly whenever we are changing on it, right? That's great but now we need some content here and it should also be changed first of all let's make a content here then we will make it change also right so now i am basically going to make it a function or you can say that a component like tab panel right then whatever we are going to do we are just going to return a div here first of all and it div have a, a h1 tag also like a tab data or something right now but this is not visible why because we did not just used it right so use this tab panel like this so we need a three tab panel because we have the three items here so just make the copy of them like uh, item one detail then let's make two copy of it item two detail and item three detail now by default you will see the all of them but what actually happen when we just click on okay so first of all uh, let's pass this data here so that we can just see this uh, children element here so just use your prop simply and let's take a uh, props uh, extract them let's const and just use children um, yes right right 
and it will actually coming from the props so just write here props like this and now pass these children directly here and if you don't know what actually children will do children will pass this uh, normal string text to the component here right as in child props so and uh, we actually have to use this bracket here rather than here and if you want you can use the semicolon here also right and uh, now you can see that we got that item 1 2 and 3 but what actually have what should actually happen that when we click on item 1 that both should be hidden and when we click on the second one the third and first should be hidden and on the next one the first two should be hidden right now first of all let's check change this with the three now we can just see it one and two and three item right so now for that we need a two more props so just pass here first is value right and in the value we will just pass the value second one is index and in the index we will pass the zero for the first one and one for the second one and two for the last one right because these are the actual index of it right now this is uh, still okay but they are still visible right so now what we actually have to do we just need to write here like this if value and item are visible then the item should be visible for example when we click on the first one then the value will be the zero and the index will also the zero and first one will be visible and the both other two will be hidden right so what we can do for it so just simply write here just simply write here um value triple triple equal to index but we did not uh, extract them yet so just write here value from the props and index also right and if they are uh, correct then we can just show them right as in children so now let's see yes this is working fine uh, for the first one second one and the third one also right so this is the simple way to uh, use the basically tabs and i i also told you that the app bar is actually optional so if you just remove it you will still still able to achieve the, all these things but they are actually colorless right so this they are still working fine but they don't have any color then you can just put the color manually or you can just simply use the app bar right so that's all about a simple tab in a uh, react material ui if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box and please don't forget to subscribe my channel